If you'd like to connect two lightsaber hilts together so that the switches align, so the activation switches or, you know, some other piece of the hilt design aligns, then you'd need what's called an adjustable coupler. So an adjustable coupler allows you to kind of um, orient the two hilts in the uh, manner that you wish. So a lot of people want to align the switches or the switch holes, and so then we would have it kind of like this, where you can see that they're on pretty much the same line. Otherwise, if you have just a regular coupler that's not adjustable, usually you'll end up with the switches being slightly askew. And so, you know, if you kind of have some OCD going on, or if you're just very particular about having things lined up, then you're probably going to want to get an adjustable coupler. So the pieces that I have here, I have this coupler, this adjustable coupler. It's from Saber Trio. Here's a hex wrench that we'll use for the adjustable coupler. Coupler. And these two hilts are from Ultra Sabers. So the reason I'm able to use these items from different companies is because they're, all of the components are MHS compatible. So um, you always need to look for compatibility, you know, when you're getting a coupler for your lightsabers. So make sure you check into that before getting a coupler for any of your lightsabers. Make sure that the coupler is compatible. Um, all right, well, let's get started. First, we'll take a bit of a look at the coupler itself. So whenever you have these adjustable couplers, they will be comprised of primarily two pieces. So how it works is, if I can get this undone, there we go. So we have kind of these two, um, these two coupler pieces and they connect together uh, with a screw in the center and you can kind of see that. And so how the coupler works is you connect it to both hilts first. So I'll see if I can do that. Ooh, sorry for the squeak. All right, and then we'll connect the second hilt. Kind of like that I've got the um, dark hilt here with the kind of metallic silver hilt, a little bit of a contrast. A little bit dark side, a little bit light side. <laughs> All right, so um, here we can see that the switches are not currently aligned. One switch is kind of over here and one is a bit more over here. And so now I'm gonna just kind of do my best to um, kind of move the center part to where they're aligned where I want them to be. So looks like right about there, the switches will be aligned. And I'm gonna just save my spot here and unscrew this hilt. And see, this is the side that has um, this kind of screw. And so now, since uh, we know that this is the point, um, you know, within the coupler that we want, then we'll just screw it, screw it in. There we go. Tighten that a little bit. And so now this um, two-piece coupler, the center of the coupler, will not move anymore. And we can reattach this hilt. And the switch holes are now aligned in the proper place with each other. So it's relatively easy to use an adjustable coupler and several different companies sell them. So I know Ultra Sabers has an adjustable coupler and then Saber Trio, like the one I have here, um, they also make a coupler that's adjustable. Some other companies do too, but really the main thing you're looking for is, um, you know, you need to find out whether the coupler is compatible with the lightsaber that you're using. So for example, this Saber Trio coupler works with Ultra Sabers lightsabers, but it would not work with Saber uh, Forge lightsabers. So that would be a compatibility issue. So this has just been kind of a quick walk through adjustable couplers. They're pretty cool and they're just a very effective way to line up the switch holes or other features of your lightsaber hilts.